Well, good morning, Facebook. This is Alexa Knowles with Fox 10 News. I'm coming to you live from Atmore, Alabama, where there was a chemical spill at the Tiger Soul Products plant up here in Atmore. I'll turn it around. The plant is about a mile down the road, and we're on Highway 31 in Atmore. You can see um, Atmore police are here. They've blocked off the road. We actually um, accidentally went down one of these roads where the where the, the that industrial park sign is you see there we went down that road and the 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 smoke i guess you could call it is very thick and uh, my photographer and i were breathing it in and we were coughing and it it smells a little bit like sulfur and you can see i don't know if you can tell on the camera here as i pan around it's just very uh hazy here in atmore and i'm told that is because of whatever is coming from this plant now we're trying to figure out exactly what happened whatever happened was really early this morning around five o'clock and if you're coming from Baldwin County and you're trying to get to Atmore on Highway 31 you're gonna get blocked at Perdido which is about nine or ten miles from here and again they're not letting us go down here now I have asked um, these police officers here you can see they're diverting people off the road um, there are some people who live down here on 31 and I was told at one point they were they were told to evacuate again we're trying to see if that's still the case uh, since like I said it happened this morning early and so that that fog has dissipated a little bit but it is still pretty thick up here in Atmore like I said on highway 31 it was the tiger soul products plant and again I am waiting on the Atmore police public information officer to get here on the scene to tell us exactly what happened if If there's something to be concerned about here, like I said, my photographer and I accidentally went down one of these side roads and we ran into really thick, what would it look like, the only way I know how to describe it is smoke. And we got out of the car and we took a couple breaths and it was uh, making us cough. So, um, like I said, I know the, uh, the EPA is out here. They are down a mile this way at the plant uh, checking it out and I know that um, you know, Atmore police are involved, of course. I know at some uh, at the Escambia County Sheriff's Office in Alabama has um, blocked off the road so people cannot go down 31. Um, if you come from 65, you're going to get blocked here um, at the industrial, at the Atmore Industrial Park where those plants are. And then if you're coming from Baldwin County, you're going to get blocked on 31 from, uh, right at Perdido. That's where I came from, and I had to ultimately get on 65 to, to even get here. So. As I said, as I pan around here, you can see the haziness. You know, it's not really a foggy or hazy morning. That's just from what is whatever is in the air here. Again, working to get more information. I called Atmore Police about an hour, hour and a half ago. They said they didn't have any information. Now we're out here on the scene, and um, these police, police officers have told me their public information officer is on his way, hopefully, to give us more information about what is in the air here in Atmore? What happened? I'm hearing that it, it was not an explosion, but some sort of chemical spill. And again, like I said, the EPA is out here. Now, earlier when we got here, these uh, a couple of these officers here were wearing masks, but I noticed that they weren't wearing them anymore and so I asked that question and he said the mask that they have, the filter, doesn't filter out whatever chemical is in the air here so it was basically pointless for them to, to wear them. So their job right now is to not let anybody go down this road. Like I said, the plant where this happened is about a mile this way in Atmore on Highway 31. Uh, we are standing in front of the beginning of the Atmore Industrial Park can you see I don't know if you can tell there's several names on this and we're and the one where this spill apparently happened is that last name Tiger Soul Products and it looks like police are moving or he is going somewhere and this officer is again making sure people do not come oh, it looks like they're switching out the cars here This might be who I need to talk to, I'm not sure. So 
hang with me here as I figure out what's going on. Is that him? What? So he did an interview this morning? All right, so it looks like the public information officer just showed up here. So I'm gonna stay on Facebook Live and we're gonna ask him questions and uh, you guys will get the answers here live on Facebook. How are you? I am well, how are y'all? Good, my name's Alexa, I'm with Fox 10. I'm Chuck Brooks. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Local and you're at more police department public information officer i'm the police chief police Charles chief Brooks. okay nice to meet you nice to meet you don't come to at more much which is well, a good thing right sorry but, uh, <laughs> it's a good place just uh hate to see you guys in situations like this i know well, we do want to get some more information from you once we get this set up good when you are yeah okay. <clears throat> All right, Chief Brooks. Um, it happened early this morning. What do you want? Calm down, sorry. It happened early this morning. What happened? Was there an explosion? What caused this chemical spill? Yes, at uh, approximately 5.30 this morning, we received a call uh, of, uh, of an explosion at uh, Tiger Sunbelt Chemicals. Uh, our department, fire department, police department responded to the to the area and found a warehouse fully engulfed in flames. Warehouse, what is that warehouse for? What chemical does that warehouse have? The warehouse houses uh, sulfur. Uh, basically the plant is a sulfur plant, so uh, right now that's what the uh, firefighters are doing right now is, 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 is trying to, uh, uh, to extinguish all the flames. So it's still on fire as we speak? Right now the flames uh, Warehouse. I'm sorry. No, I, I can imagine you're getting a lot of calls. Um, <clears throat> right now, the the flames have been extinguished. However, sulfur uh, does continue to burn. So right now, they're they're working on, on hot spots uh, inside the warehouse. It's it's getting hazy out. I know it's happened hours ago. It's hazy out here. I we accidentally went down a road and it was very thick and we were coughing. Is this dangerous for people to be breathing in? Right now, we have instruments all around the area checking the uh, quality of air. Everything is okay at this time. However, we have uh, evacuated around the, the, the plant itself. There's a country club right across the road from, from it. We have evacuated that area. But from all indications, what we've been told, everything is, is fine. The air is fine. It, the EPA is out here? We have several agencies out here uh, conducting tests. Uh, we've got them all around town, so uh, right now everything is is, is okay. Is it uh, how how cl was it a mile range? How close were you evacuating the people around it? Uh, approximately a half a mile around the uh, chemical plant. And is that was that precautionary, or is that because you really yes, felt like we're, we're we're doing that uh, as a precautionary measure? Uh, until we, we get all of our, our results in as far as the air quality. How you, many, how many people is that roughly that have been evacuated from that area? Um, I don't know, but there's there's several residents uh, around, around that area, so um, we're looking probably maybe two to 300 people. Okay. You've been down there, I'm assuming, at the fire. Yes. Were, were you having a hard time? breathing? I mean, what is it like down there? Yes, it's uh, it's extremely hard to breathe uh, near the warehouse. Um, however, uh, if you back away from the warehouse a couple of hundred yards, sort of downwind, then it's okay. So, how are you going to be keeping this road closed for yes. the whole time? Or um, The roads have been closed now. Uh, the Department of Transportation has closed the road in Atmore at Highway 21 and also in the Baldwin County around the James Road, uh, uh, Perdita Road exit. And I know Perdita is kind of far off from here. Why, why, was, why is that so far out? Well, we have a, a problem with the big trucks, the large uh, commercial trucks trying to get them turned around. So uh, that's the reason we went far out. So, I mean, I know we've, and we're, we're on Facebook Live right now, and I know people hear about chemical spills and things in the air. They get worried. Um, 
what do you want to tell well, them? Well, their about concerns that? are my concerns as well for the for the citizens around here. That's why we're taking every precautionary measure. Uh, like I said, we've got several um, uh, different uh, uh, companies to come that that have came in with their checking the air, and they're doing it constantly. So is that obviously you also need to focus on putting out this fire? Absolutely. Is it is it gonna is anything around it in danger of also going up in flames? No, nothing's in danger. It's pretty much self-contained to one warehouse on the property. And what about the cause? You know anything about that? Still under investigation at this time. All right. Well, that's the chief of Admore Police. Thank you so much You're for your time. You. As you heard him just say. I'm gonna hand my photographer the mic back real quick. Um, as you heard him just say that the warehouse where this happened is still um, in flames. He said it doesn't seem like there was an explosion or anything. It's just a chemical spill. Um, but they are still investigating all of that information right now. And so they have several agencies. I know the EPA is here testing the air. That is their number one concern, he said. So yeah, if you if you back off of it a little bit, we went a little bit closer. If you back off, it's not hard to breathe where I'm standing. I'm about a mile away from the plant. But if you go if you go even just a quarter of a mile in or half a mile closer to the plant, it does it gets hard to breathe. And as the chief said, you heard of it, it it's hard to put out this fire because it was there's sulfur and that is igniting the flames more as these firefighters try to put them out. And so that's why they don't want anywhere anyone close to it except for obviously uh, anybody in law enforcement or anybody who is helping uh, with this problem. But they did evacuate about two to 300 people just in case, because like he said, the, the smoke down there is pretty thick and they're still trying to put out the flames. We can't show that to you because we are not allowed to go down that way. Um, and so it just, Continues to be hazy up here in Atmore. You got all the latest information there from our interview with the chief. If we learn anything else new, we will let you know. And of course, and then we are on air tonight at nine. We should have a lot more information by by that time. And so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and sign off up here in Atmore. We just got all of that updated information from the chief. And we will keep you updated, like I said, on air, fox10tv.com, and then we will have a full story recap tonight on Fox 10 News at 9. For now, I'm Alexa Knowles reporting live in Atmore.